Hi, this is Mike from Minimal 3DP, and today I'm just letting everybody know that there's been a recent release of Orca 1.8. So let's go ahead and go over the release. In reviewing the release page, it looks like there's been several releases of beta, as well as the most current official release. And I'm going to go over real quickly some of the changes I'm seeing here that are worth checking out. First off, it looks like they've improved the PA calibration lines, which again, that's pretty helpful and great. They've added a search function when you're trying to set up a printer. That's extremely helpful because as they've added more printers, which they have in this release, it gets harder and harder to find what you're looking for. So a search is really helpful. Also, just ironically, I noticed that one of the things that keeps popping up in the search and the little animation they have here is a VC bot printer. And that's one of the printers that I'm slowly but surely working on and eventually going to record a video about. So I'm excited to do that. Maybe I'll actually try work a slicer with that printer. There are some painting modes, both for vertical and horizontal. They've added a Z offset option. They're supporting manual filament changes. And again, they have some more features from Prusa Slicer that they've imported. So this is again, looking really good. And there's a lot of cool features here that I think are worth checking out. I'm probably in the next couple of months going to run another slicer challenge and take a look at things. Right now, my current slicer is Cura, and I'm pretty pleased with that. Although any of the slicers, there's only a small difference in quality, what I found, and we're talking fractions of a percentage. But if you're interested in this, Take a look at Orca Slicer. If there's something cool here that I'm missing, I need to check out, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks, hope you have a good day. And if I don't talk to you, happy Thanksgiving. Hi, this is Mike from Minimal 3DP, and I want to thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. If you need some additional help, I've also posted some links in the video description. You can set up a 15 minute help session with me, and I'm more than happy to sit down with you and see if I can help you out. If you need some additional help, I'm also going to try doing one hour sessions for anybody that's interested. And like I said, I'm testing this stuff out. I want to thank you again for joining me and I look forward to talking to you again next time. Thanks. Have a good day.